Hey there, I'm Kaylin, and thank you so much for joining me here on my channel, where in this week's video, I've been living out of this sexy beast for about a week now. This week, I really just wanted to have fun after many an exhausting week of van building and working and selling all my worldly possessions. So for this last week, I've kind of just been working on taking it easy, kind of easing into a creative, healthy hustle, and it's been a really good time. Uh, I have taken lots of beautiful footage of just me messing around in mama nature, and I'm really excited to share it with you today. So let's get right into it. So for my first adventure in my van, I went to where it felt most natural, which would be my forever home of Sedona, Arizona. And while I did move around a lot growing up, I still really do consider Sedona to be my home and maybe it's just because I felt at home in mama nature on the many trails and outdoor areas that Sedona had to offer. So I figured it was honestly the best place to dip my toes in and get a feel for this new lifestyle. Day one of living alone again and I'm um, already talking to myself so off to a good start. Oh. Oh, that, that view? Oh, oh, it, oh, it's nothing. Just kidding, it's freaking gorgeous. I always like start off on a solo hike thinking I'm gonna be bored or something and then I just get into the most like amazing mental streams of thought, I don't know. fallen hard for my new home and it just felt really amazing to be able to lie in my bed but have both van doors open and truly feel like I was hanging outside all of the time. And for this reason, I truly felt like I was in my element whenever I went to my van to recharge between going on hikes every day, having the most beautiful views to see while I worked from my computer, and also just getting to catch up with friends and family who I hadn't seen for quite some time since I was so busy grinding on the van dream. Most of all though, I really enjoyed my solo lunch breaks down by the creek, and the solitude felt really nice, just being able to hang out in mama nature, maybe even with a good book. For that reason, it was time to run away into the mountains of Flagstaff, Arizona and the surrounding pine forests for a couple of very windy, cold days. And by windy, 
I mean windy. Still, the couple of days I spent up north had me smiling nonstop because I felt really good to finally be running away into the pines like I had always dreamed of once I acquired my van. currently north of Flagstaff and I just met some guys on the trail who have been biking since Tucson which is southern Arizona mind you um, and I'm in northern Arizona which is pretty cool I mean dang like there's so many cool different ways to see the world from different perspectives it's insane and I had a really cute dog so bonus points
so I have made it to the inner basin. It's beautiful. It's apparently where the San Francisco peaks drain off all the way to the city of Flagstaff. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I found this gloriously sunny spot with a rock that I think I'm going to allow to work out some knots in my back while I just soak up some vitamin D for the day. camping up north for a bit longer and continuing to explore the pine forests that surround my favorite sunset crater. I did check the forecast and saw 21 degree low and instead of freezing my booty off, I did what vans do. So I rolled on down south to the warmer waters of Sedona where I spent the next couple of days really feeling inspired to get lots of work done for my business and my channel, really just enjoying outside time in between and maybe even getting to see some pretty cool wildlife along the way. So much for watching today i really do appreciate it i hope you enjoyed coming along with me for my adventures and i really hope that you'll stick around because i have some really exciting content planned my brand isn't so much changing as it is just aligning even further with who i am and the message that i want to inspire people with so don't worry i'm not going anywhere with that fresh food content all of the plants of course we need plants. So you're definitely gonna wanna stick around because I have a really awesome farm to table series planned. I have awesome botanical tourist episodes lined up. And of course, we're going to be having lots of fun out in Mama Nature or maybe even exploring plant shops of cities I pass along the way. You'll have to tag along, so definitely be sure to subscribe, like this video. And lastly, I want you to go down into the comments and give me some suggestions for what you think I should name this bad girl here. Uh, and maybe I'll reveal it in like a van tour episode that I have coming up or something like that. So uh, yeah, until next time. <laughs>